Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko supports China's peace plan for Ukraine as he visits Beijing to meet with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping. Meanwhile, the number of those killed in a train collision in Greece rises as rescue operations continue. These and other global events in tonight's Foreign News Roundup by Meg Luna. Chinese President Xi Jinping and his Belarusian counterpart Alexander Lukashenko are urging for a ceasefire and negotiations to end the conflict in Ukraine. The two presidents made the call after talks in Beijing. During the meeting, Lukashenko, a close ally of Russia, praised China's plan that calls for peace talks and respect for national sovereignty. Earlier, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said he agreed with some parts of China's plan and considered meeting Xi to discuss the proposal. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin said he is preparing for a visit of his Chinese counterpart to Moscow. Putin said Xi will visit the Moscow Metroline project. He did not provide further details on the agenda. China earlier said it has a no-limits friendship with Russia. Russia. The death toll from the collision of two trains in northern Greece climbed to 36, with 85 people injured. An investigation is underway on what caused the collision between a freight and passenger train carrying some 350 people. The Greek government has vowed to provide necessary assistance to all the victims as rescue operations continue. Meanwhile, the country's transport minister stepped down following the incident. Vietnam's new president, Vo Van Thuong, took his oath after the National Assembly elected him on Thursday. His election was part of a reshuffle of the country's top leadership following the sudden dismissal of his predecessor, who was linked to corruption. Nigeria also elected a new leader. President-elect Bola Tinubu was declared the winner of the presidential election, keeping the ruling party in power. Meanwhile, state-run universities in several cities in Afghanistan have reopened following a decision by the Taliban. According to the Islamic government, only male students are allowed to attend classes which will start next week. Since reclaiming power in 2021, the Taliban barred girls from attending secondary schools in line with the Afghan culture and Islamic law or Sharia. Megluna for the nation.